My name is Bart Brecka, and I'm going to today uh, walk through one of our tutorials from our one-week surfacing workshop. And uh, this is an ISDX uh, model. And uh, for, before I start, I wanted to show what ch which uh, which class this is from. This is our one-week surfacing class, and the uh, the model that I'm going to walk through is a door pull refrigerator door pull. Now what I'll do is go to the back end utility where our tutorials reside. And retrieve the model and uh, walk us through it. Okay, This is uh, the ISDX tutorials that we've prepared for the class. And this is the model that I want to uh, walk through. Okay, this is the model, and uh, before I start, I want to point out the underlying curve geometry, which I call a lattice structure, uh, basically a series of bounding boxes that, that control the geometry. As I update this, this geometry and hit regenerate, the, uh, the underlying curve geometry stretches the rest of the geometry will go with, even if it's a ISDX freeform curve, curve network of surfaces. Okay, this, uh, this little handle here at the bottom is a curious uh, tool. We call this a, uh, a lattice, uh, a sub-box, a substructure. This, this substructure allows sort of like a crowbar when, when, when you uh, bend, bend handlebars back on your motorcycle after it drops over or you wreck. These, uh, these tools help us control the other geometry that, that might uh, look at it as a parent-child object. Now what I'm going to do is get into the actual ISDX geometry and hide this hide this main surface so I don't so I don't grab it by accident and I, I, I come in and add an internal curve structure an in, internal curve. This internal curve will I'll, I'll force it perpendicular uh, or what we call implied tangent at the top. I'll, I'll uh, make a copy of that curve see how it, it maintains its parent-child constraint bring it all the way to the end. I might even soften that up just a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to show show that surface back and actually I'll double double click on the surface and uh, I'll add that as an internal curve in my geometry. You can see that it, uh, it's, it's been added. Now I'm going to uh, double click on the surface and actually add, um, I'm going to switch out the original curve. I say I A select that one or deselect that one and then A select that new curve. This this uh, icon here is the connectivity tool uh, icon. It's it's telling me that I don't have tangency across that uh, this as it would be a mirror plane. Uh, and now the the uh, the arrow on the end tells me that I've created that uh, in, in implied tangency. Okay, so I check out of that and now my model is is uh, a sort of stealthy door pull, if you will. Uh, and, and still I can maintain all the parent-child constraints that I've built with this underlying curve network. And as I stretch that around, I get to sort of prove out that form. All right, thank you very much for taking a look, and uh, please consider taking a class at Design Engine. Thank you.